I used to dream under the stars above that it would make me fall in love. But what do I do now that all my dreams have come true? I told you it would have been easier to go through the front. Oh, really? The front? Do you really think we would have gotten here without anyone seeing us? Well, you know what? If he just followed my plan, oh. things would have gone a lot smoother. Right, your plan. It always has to be your plan, doesn't it? I swear, if Jesus Christ himself were to appear right now, you would lecture him on how things would have been less painful if he had just followed your plan. Well, you know what? At least I have original thoughts, Sasha. Like, I'm surprised you even had a suggestion for this little escapade. Well, at least I am open to new things. Ah. You won't go near something unless it's had at least 30 reviews. I swear I'm married to TripAdvisor. Honestly, Clark, I don't know how I got you to try new things in bed without Did I not say this was a good idea? Did I, did I not say this could be the answer to what we have been searching for? And did I not go outside of my safe box for oh, this? Dr. Robinson safe. would be very proud of me. Is this outside of your safe box, Clark? That all my dreams have come true. Oh, yeah. That's what I yep. do. Now that all my dreams have come true. I'm proud that you stepped outside your safe box for this, Clark, but what made you think that this was a good idea? Well, Sasha and I have been coming to you for the past year, and, well, we felt we were really making progress while we were in session, but every time we well, left we your office... we figured that an hour with you just wasn't enough to save our marriage, and with every passing day, we were hating each other more and more. We knew we had to do something before it's too late. And this is the best idea that you could come up with? Yeah, well, we figured if we had more than an hour with you, you then... You could save your marriage. A marriage, I might add, that I recommend be dissolved after our last disastrous session. Well, that's what got us thinking. When we were waiting in the emergency room... Only four stitches this time. <laughs> we remembered when we met three years ago how great we were together, how in love we were. Well, we thought we could get back there if we just had some help. You know, an intensive therapy session that would get us back to being in love. Okay, then. <laughs> Let's begin. <clears throat> Sasha. Yes. How does Clark make you feel? Murderous. Do you have any idea how it feels to hope every day that your husband doesn't come back? That the next knock on the door will be a police officer informing you that the savings, the cottage, and the house that you so beautifully decorated are yours? What happened to us? Oh, sorry. Oh. If I might be permitted to, if I might be permitted to interrupt. <clears throat> I have worked with many couples. This is not a healthy relationship. We fell in love, didn't we? We were perfectly happy until a year ago when, thanks to a couple of helpful websites, I apparently was married to a selfish, moody, unreliable bitch. And thanks to all the books I read, I was married to a lazy, arrogant, narcissistic prick. Yeah, so we just tried to fix us. We tried everything. We listened to everyone. Well, perhaps. That is your problem. Yeah. 
You're right, Doctor. That is our problem. Sorry, Dr. Robertson, but your hour is up. As long as this world keeps on spinning around, I'll keep hanging on to this love that I found. I won't let go, cause I know I have something that is true, and I will never